It's already late for anointing Sri Varu. All the priests are confused. Tear welled up in the eyes of the priests. Maybe they could no longer be anointing Sri Varu and some hearts trembled. The priests went back, fearing that we would have to face the anger of Sri Varu. What actually happened? Why was anointing of Sri Varu getting delayed on that day? What would be the reason for trying the hands of the priests without anointing? Will anointing be done for Sri Varu or not? To know the reason behind why the anointing of Swami was stopped, we should first know about Sivet Cat. You might feel, what is the relation between anointing Sri Varu and Sivet Cat? Sivet cat is a very rare endangered cat. On Friday, after anointing Sri Varu, Sivet cat's balm is applied for Sri Varu, only then anointing is completed and Sri Varu is in peace. How do they get balm from Sivet cat? In an iron cage, red sandal would stick his inserted through a hole. TTD now sends the Sivet cat inside the cage which they are raising safely. As the cat rubs its body, expressing his gestures to the sandalwood bark and the fluid which is secreted from the white pure garlands of the civet cat sticks to the sandalwood bark. The fragments from the civet cat balm spreads over a distance of about 30 to 40 kilometers. That's why in Tirumala we notice a unique fragrance. Then they take that fluid and mix it with various fragrances and make the final balm. This balm is applied after the anointing on Friday for the beautiful black idol of Sri Varu. And after this, only Sri Varu will be in peace. The reasons are not known, but one day the priests were perplexed to find out about the disappearance of this endangered civet cat. Even today, after searching a lot, it is impossible to find such a rare civet cat. If anything doesn't take place at a right time, is it possible to for us face Swami's anger? With this, few priests were in tears. Even after knowing the situation, the authorities of TTD couldn't do much. Priests were full of tears about not anointing Swami, who is wanted by crores of devotees. Few among them held their palms in their hands and were afraid of what would happen next. What are the consequences of this? Lord, please forgive us. We no longer have the energy to perform this task. Lord, please forgive. It's now that only you can get us out of this, Lord. Govinda, Govinda. Not sure where it came from. Garuda bird, Venkateshwara Swami's vehicle, flied in the air with the civet cat in its legs. Places the snarling cat in the temple surroundings. Then the Garuda bird made a huge sound in the air and disappeared from there. <laughs> Hearing the sound, priests gathered there. All of them were suddenly subjected to an unknown spiritual feeling. With all this devotion, joined their hands and chanted, Govinda, Govinda. All at once, the god of air erupted. The bells in that air rang very loudly. This aspect of the beauty of the power over man will forever remain a question for atheists. Even in recent times, the Garuda is found circumambulating in a clockwise direction, which means in Telugu Pradakshina, near the Venkateshwara Swami's naturally formed stone rock for about half an hour. The same thing was also published in the newspapers. No matter how much you remember or chant the Lord with the suspicion of existence of God, you will be left fruitless. 
believe first raise and join your hands he will always with you